Mamata asks why the 5 year CAGR of funds is often less than the 3 year CAGR. Oh, that is uh, purely by chance because you know, 3 years ago the market was very low, and 5 years ago the market was reasonably, uh, relatively better. Uh, so, when we, uh, when all the returns that we see, you know, the dominant return that we see is basically trailing year return, which is, which means uh, as of now, when we are looking at three-year return, which is comparing a price three years ago, the or the NAV three years ago, and the change thereon. Likewise, on a five-year basis, the, the 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 price five years ago, as compared to price today. So the five-year return looks looks poor, relatively poor, because if you because these are point-to-point -point returns. If you would have invested in that fund three years ago, and after since then the market has grown at something like 25%. But if you would have invested five years ago, you have not got 25% uh, uh, in the period, you know, uh, 2012 to 13, those early two years of these five, five years, you will see that uh, uh, th those, th that's a period when the market was little sluggish, it went down and then in the last three years it has gone up. So those returns might look like, you know, 18, 19%, but this, these returns will change every month and as time passes by. Uh, over a long period of time, I find that, you know, uh, these returns might look very different, but over a longer period of time, 10 years and more, those, those returns become far more stable as they actually reflect, uh, you, know, you know, as they encompass uh, full market cycle.